Hi there, welcome back to another video. Welcome to what I hope is going to be a super cosy vlog, the first of my proper autumn vlogs. It feels like such a cosy day today. It's so stormy outside. I've got my jumper on for the first time this year, apart from trying it on a few weeks ago, and it just feels so nice. I need this on today because it's freezing cold outside. And I'm so glad the autumn creature that lives inside of me is so, so very happy about this. <laughs> and I'm so pleased that this jumper still fits. It's one of my all time favorites and perfect for like stormy, cozy weather. It keeps raining, my sunflowers blown down again. If you watched last week's video, it blew down. Dom um, stood it back up last night and I thought there is no way. <laughs> Everything is flying around. There's bins going down the street. It's as if Autumn was like, no, I'm not coming, no, I'm not coming. And then it's like, boom, I'm here. Here I am, <laughs> causing chaos everywhere I go. But I'm very happy. And I was planning actually for this video to be sort of like garden themed, but the world has other ideas. So we're just gonna go along with it. I have still got planned to go to a garden center with one of my best friends later on. I need a good catch up with her. I've not seen her for a long time. And, um, yeah, we're gonna go there. I'm gonna get some tulip bulbs, maybe some daffodil bulbs that I can plant. And then in the spring, you know, everything will look beautiful and pretty once again, but not sure I'm actually gonna get to plant them in this vlog. We'll see, we'll see how the weather goes. I was thinking to myself this morning, you know, if it's, if it's just gonna be rainy, that's fine. I'll just go out between the rain, but it's actually really cold outside. There's people walking past the house with full on coats on. So I'm like, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Anyway, yes, that is my vague plan for the day. Other than that, I've not got much plan. Just doing a bit of nesting, cooking some yummy food, enjoying all the autumn vibes because the house is decorated now, as you'll have seen in last week's video, and it feels so, so good. But before I blab on any further, I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. You all know I love and swear by HelloFresh. We use them all the time in our own personal lives. And I just find them so easy, so convenient. For me, it just helps me get out of rut with meals. I don't know about you, but meal planning, I just find quite stressful. Oh, <laughs> Echo's just wobbling the camera around. I find meal planning incredibly stressful and I tend to stick to the same recipes over and over again and I get bored. And then when I'm bored, I don't want to cook those meals. And so I find with HelloFresh, it gets me out of my zone, makes me try new recipes, makes me try new ingredients I would never have tried. And I love that about them. As well as that, it's super quick, super convenient and easy. It comes straight to your door. I mean, what more could you want in life? And they've just actually launched their super quick rapid range, which are meals that you can cook within 15 minutes, which is incredible. And just such an amazing time saver. If you end up back home late, we've all done that. <laughs> You have great plans, but life gets in the way sometimes, um, you know, or you've got a family to feed and everyone's hungry and you just want to get tea on the table. These recipes really help with that. So I think that's a fantastic thing that they've launched and I'm really excited to try all of those recipes. So I'll show you guys what we chose this week. I always get quite a variety. I like to be able to share lots of different meal ideas with you all. Um, so we got the cheesy chipotle bean quesadillas these were so nice. I made them the other day and they were so fast, so easy as well. And then we've got the honey mustard sausage and red onion gravy. Does this not scream autumn? <laughs> this is our tea tonight and I cannot wait for it. I am so excited. HelloFresh do the best, the best sausage and mash ever. Oh, it's just always so nice. I'm really looking forward to that. And then this one, which is the Buffalo Halloumi loaded flatbreads with blue cheese, creamy slaw and chips. So obviously I can't have the blue cheese, but minus that, I can have everything else. How good do they look? And if you've never seen the recipe cards before, they're super easy to follow. You get a little number at the top, oop, this top, <laughs> which corresponds to the bag that is in your fridge on the back. Step-by-step -step picture instructions, making it very quick, very easy to understand. Um, and even if you've never cooked before, you know, if you're an amateur cook, we've all been there. 
it just takes all the stress out of it and you learn so many ways. I've actually learned how to cook rice, which sounds ridiculous, I know, I'm nearly 30 and it's taken me all these years to master it, but it was from HelloFresh that I actually found out how to cook rice, so I was very happy about that. So one of the good things about HelloFresh is you can pause your delivery at any point, you can also cancel and you can also change where it's being delivered to, which I think is a really great thing if you're going off on a little staycation somewhere in the UK and you just want to have easy meals when you arrive. So you can use the discount code LIVING60 for 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight boxes. So I'll make sure I leave the code down below and a little QR code on the screen, wherever it's gonna be, maybe here, there looks like a big space here. Um, you can just scan that code with your phone and that will take you straight through so you can access that. But yes, very excited to make this recipe later on this afternoon, but thank you so much to HelloFresh once again for being a supporter of this channel and for sponsoring this video, greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, I'm gonna finish my tea, got myself a red raspberry leaf tea. <laughs> um, I am I am in full on nesting mode at the minute and just feeling myself really slowing down. So I'm just trying to sink into that, let it be and um, see all my friends. As you may have noticed, it's all I've been doing recently, which I'm very grateful to be able to do. But it does feel like the weeks are creeping up on me and I've got more and more plans in and I'm trying my hardest to make sure those last weeks is not too stressful and I've not got too much going on. Um, so yeah, just making the most of it really and looking forward to seeing my friend later on this afternoon. Both cats are curled up, fast asleep. The wind is blowing the trees all over the place. Um, so gonna enjoy my cuppa and then we'll head out. I'm gonna get some food because I'm starving. <laughs> We've got no bread in the house and ran out of eggs this morning. So yeah, I am, I am hungry very very hungry and I woke up super early all I ever do on this channel is complain recently about my sleep but wow <laughs> I woke up at half past three this morning really hot really hungry I had to come downstairs and try and scrounge around the house with some food um I managed to get back to sleep at about I think it was about five o'clock till seven when Dom got up for work but I'm feeling it, I'm feeling tired, so if I slowly start to fade away through the day, then we all know why. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, let's crack on. Hope you're all having a good day wherever you are and uh, that you can enjoy the rest of this video. Oh my goodness, it's so windy out here. I hope you can hear me. I've put my little wind mic on. Um, 
I wasn't going to plant these, but actually it's quite nice out here. It's very, very windy. We've got extremely high winds at the minute. It's like a bit of a weather warning on. This chair had actually moved, which is quite scary because this is a really heavy chair. <laughs> um, but now I'm outside. I brought the cats out. Do you know what? It's the place. So I might plant some tulip bulbs. <laughs> it's okay. I might plant some tulip bulbs in some of the pots that I've got the dead sunflowers in. So I'll show you what I got. It's probably like the least exciting haul for most people, but if you're a gardener, you'll know it's exciting. So I got some Cape Cod tulips. We've already got some of these. I think my friend got us some of these for our wedding anniversary, no, for our wedding day as a gift last year. So I know we love these. I've got some peaches and cream tulips. How beautiful are they? We have daffodils. I really love the two coloured ones. And then Columbus. How beautiful are they? They look like a peony. They're like a, obviously they're a tulip, but they look a bit like a peony, which I love. And then the last thing is snowdrops. And I know so many of you are going to be like, hey, they're all toxic to cats. I know. The whole garden is toxic to cats. But you know your own pets. You know, use your own intuition. Um, we've never had an issue. Such wood. <laughs> We've never had an issue with the cats eating any kind of plant, so I'm not worried about it at all. Um, and it'll just be so nice in the spring to see all of the beautiful bulbs pop up. We've done so much work to the garden. The first year we moved in, we didn't touch it for like a year. And there were so many bulbs popped up and it was so, so nice. But we've disturbed quite a lot now, so I just want to pop some back in. And then they can keep coming year in, year out. So, yeah. I think I might plant these two in my plant pots, that's my plan. One of each set in each plant pot and and leave it at that for today. Um, me and Dom definitely need to get in the garden, probably not gonna be filming that now. Um, it's just gonna be a slow process. Now that I am quite pregnant, <laughs> everything just takes a lot longer and I can't do the same things I used to and that's okay. So probably not gonna be like a full on gardening video again. Um, but we are just going to get stuff done when it needs doing because this garden just so needs sorting before I'm really heavily pregnant um, so we're going to get cracking on with that over the next few weeks and try and get on top of it because it's definitely ran away without us this last probably like this last two months um, we don't usually let it get this wild but Ooh, it's so windy I love being outside in the wind it makes you feel alive doesn't it anyway let's plant these shall we <laughs> and let Rory come and explore because he's, he's feeling left out, bless him. We've banned him from this section of the garden. Um, we put him on the washing line, so I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. <laughs> and he gets really annoyed that he can't get to this bit, so I let him, I come down with him and watch over him. Um, but yeah, he's not allowed down here by himself because he tries to jump over the fence. <laughs> So this is the plant pot I'm thinking of. <laughs> Look how sad these are. They got a bit dry in the weather we had and yeah, they're just, they're finished. And I'm thinking this one as well. Neither of these things have survived, but I know tulips will look really nice in there. Just had a bit of color in the spring as well. <laughs> Look at the sunflower, it looks so sad. <laughs> oh my goodness. What are you doing, Echo? <laughs> Rory found a frog the other day and now he's obsessed with trying to find it again. <laughs> this is all he spends his time doing, it's so cute. Have you found it again? Hey? I hope not. <laughs>
I got Rory this toy the other day. Look how many bite marks there are in it. It's like a little vampire has attacked it. Remind me never to get in a fight with Rory. It's filled with catnip. They love it so much. So my little routine is now I'm gonna just play with the cats, have a bit of a chill, and then Dom will be home or setting off from work soon. So then I'll crack on with making tea. But I'm very glad I planted those tulip bulbs when I did because it's just started spitting. So timed that perfectly well. And happy that they're at least in now. It said you could plant them from August. So we're all right, we're doing all right for time. We are at the, well, middle, yeah, middle of um, September when I'm filming this. So this smells so strong. <laughs> They've both been a bit boring. You're a bit boring. I want to play. Hey? <laughs> Do you know what to play? Whee! This guy steals the limelight. It's my new best friend. It's the best thing ever. If you're pregnant and you don't have one of these, you need one in your life. It's so amazing for your hips. Oh, I just, I couldn't be without it. It's fantastic. Completely in the way. And our house is not, nothing about our house is level. So it's just constantly rolling around the house. I wake up in the morning and I find it in a different room and I'm like, cool, okay. <laughs> Where's it gone? Are you gonna get it? Little random baby update no one asked for. We've got this little bouncer out already. A bit early, I know, but it's fine. Um, I shared about this on Instagram, not affiliated with them in the slightest, uh, but I highly recommend this so far. Obviously, we've not used it yet, but in terms of functionality and being multi-use, it's brilliant. So it's the hook, I think that's how you say it, baby bouncer with the little newborn attachment. And it's just like a little, a little bouncer, it comes on this. But the best thing about it is it comes with this, which is, excuse the cat toys everywhere. So this is a Montessori style high chair, which is brilliant and it grows with them. So you can use this all the way up to being an adult if you wanted to. And I just thought it looked so nice with the house and it just fits under the table. It's perfect. It's not in the way at all. And there's another attachment so that you can get like the tray um, and then this footboard moves out you can change it all to different levels but I'll show you the best part of all so this part comes off the rocker really easy and then it fits straight on here just like I can't see because of my hair <laughs> oh dear there we go like that which means let me pull this up so I can see which means that I can be at the same height as baby. So when I'm in the kitchen and I'm cooking, I can be there. If we're sat at the table eating our food, I can be there. If I'm not gonna be working for a little while, but <laughs> when I'm working, I can have him here and I know where he is, I know he's safe. I think one of the things with having animals in the house is I just, I want to avoid him being 
at floor level too much so if for example like I'm eating and I'm not fully present there I just want to make sure I can see him and he's okay we're getting lots of time you know tummy time and floor time and stuff like that but supervised like 100% and for myself with my lifestyle knowing that I let the cats outside very supervised I just want to know that he's safe and I can see the cat's in the kitchen, he can be in the kitchen with me. We're all good, we're all safe. So I thought I would share this as a recommendation. Obviously I haven't used it yet, so I can't say if it, you know, is good long term, but I can say for a smaller home, it's perfect. And I just love the fact that it's two in one. I think it's so clever. So literally, that is how easy it is. And then it just goes straight back on that other bouncer attachment. It's genius. <laughs> I think that is going to finish today's video. I feel very relaxed, very, just very calm, very nice, but a lovely, lovely day. Sometimes the simple things are just the best things in life. There is nothing better than a good old catch up with a good friend, a nice little walk around garden centre, a smidge of gardening and a delicious tea to finish off the day. Oh, I am so happy for this cooler weather. I've been so ready for it for so long and it's not till it arrives that you really think, oh, so fingers crossed everybody that I sleep through the night tonight and I don't wake up at 3am with a hot flash <laughs> and starving hungry. We have faith. We have faith, Kate. I've got my fan just in case. Just in case I, um, I have a moment. <laughs> But I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you get to take time for yourself at some point, depending on when you're watching this video through the week or at the weekend or your own weekend. And that I can show you ways to just tune out, to take it slower, to just live in the moment. And candlelit showers are officially back in my life. Where have they been? Oh, there is nothing better than a candlelit shower in the dark, nighttime. I need to sneeze. As I was saying, there is nothing that beats it in these colder winter months. Not that we're there yet, but we're getting there. I am going to keep it up. Even in 
the newborn days, I am going to keep it up. I'm going to say, Dom, look after him. I'm going for my shower. It's literally like you can have a five minute shower. Sometimes I have a shower just to take my makeup off because it's just so much easier. And it's just so lovely, so relaxing. You only need one candle and it's just lovely. Really, really highly recommend it. But yes, that's going to be it for me today. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And I want to say a big thanks once again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Our tea was delicious. I don't know why I've never thought of making mashed potato with sweet potato and normal potato. Well, that was a real hit and something I'm definitely going to keep doing in the future. It was just so nice to have the sweet potato with the caramelised onions and the caramelised onion sausages too. It was just Oh, so so good so really really happy with that and don't forget as well that you can get 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight boxes with the code living60 I'll make sure I leave the QR code on the screen for you to scan and my link down below as well but definitely try them out I highly recommend them as always but yes thank you so much for watching I hope you all have a very nice chilled out evening or day or whatever you're doing I know I am I'm gonna put my legs up drink my nice hot cup of tea and just tune out so thank you so much for being here i appreciate you all so so much have a fantastic week wherever you are in the world and i'll see you all again in my next video bye